Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I want to talk about a simple but important design feature of Azure Data Factory uh, when it comes to executing pipelines from within a pipeline. And so to talk about this, I'm going to show a screenshot here of a, a very simple pipeline that I created. And this pipeline simply executes three other pipelines in sequence. So you can see here I've got a task here for a couple data warehouse loading tasks where I start with loading some lookups, followed by some dimension loads, and finishing with fact tables. And I just want these three pipelines to run in sequence. And so setting this up in Data Factory is pretty simple. Just connect those uh, pieces together. Uh, but when I ran this, each of those three pipelines ran at the same time. And this is the, the design feature I want to point out here. In the execute pipeline activity is a setting called wait on completion. And in this screenshot here, you can see where this option is set. It's under the settings of that execute pipeline activity. And the important thing to understand here is that this option is turned off by default. So by default, if you are trying to run uh, pipeline activities in, in sequence, that they will actually run um, asynchronously, meaning that they're going to run without finishing before moving on. So this is a, a really simple feature to enable. Just check that box, and by checking that box, then uh, one pipeline will only execute after one finishes. So a pretty simple, quick tip, but one that's valuable and one that I felt that was worth sharing. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about Azure Data Factory or the Azure Data Platform or using the Azure Platform in your organization, please reach out and let us know. Thank you.